David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Today we're off to Vancouver, British Columbia to talk to an electric vehicle pioneer about what it's like to drive a Chevy Volt. And we'll ask him if he thinks electric cars are here to stay. My name is Phil Dason and I've driven electric cars for about eight or nine years. Primarily I bought the electric car I think for environmental reasons but also because they're, electric cars are fun cars to drive and they're rather different than the mainstream things. I'm not really a car person, but electric cars have taken sort of my interest. And this really sums it up right here, is on this, on this current tank of gas, I've gone 2,504 kilometers and I've used 17 liters of fuel. That, that's really what it's all about. The electricity cost is pretty insignificant. Um, my electricity bill uh, was on a separate meter and that was uh, $80 for the year. Why do I think um, electric cars are a good fit for British Columbia? Well, primarily because the electricity that is being generated is, uh, comes from a, a pure natural source that's uh, sustainable. And I think um, it's taken a long time for this uh, perception to disappear um, that electric cars are are not very powerful they're not very fast or whatever I think I drive faster now than I had before and it's just it handles nicely and it just feels right okay now this is very interesting we're pulling up to here I've never seen this before here is another red volt I guess this is really the secret to the wide adoption of electric vehicles is charging stations like this or, or other ones is that uh, because people with range anxiety they feel they have to be able to plug in uh, when their battery is depleted and this is really an important part of the, of, of the whole thing with electric vehicles is that if there are enough charging stations around the city or the province this will lead to a great increase I believe in electric vehicles. I mean, the charging stations are not desperately expensive. And hey, I got a parking spot and it's near the restaurant. And so great idea for the restaurant. And I think there are a lot of, of other places, restaurants and places like that, that understand that, that it's good for business. And I think because of the supply of, uh, of the renewable power, it just seems to me Vancouver could be the capital in North America of electric powered vehicles. The city is already doing things. Now all new constructions in the city of Vancouver have to have an electrical plug for charging in a vehicle, whether it's a condominium or whether it's a private house. And this goes a long way to, to having the ability for virtually every person to be able to plug in their car. What the state of California did, and I think this is a great uh, help, is that they ha all, all their uh, high occupancy lanes are available for electric cars with single passenger. And if you did that even in BC, I think you'd see a lot more sales for people up in the uh, coming in from Langley or on Highway 1 because if they can use the high occupancy weight with one person, this is a great incentive to buy an electric vehicle. You can't really see anything. The, um, the, the battery packs inside the cars, it runs sort of in a T down the middle and then underneath the back seats. So what you're seeing here is basically the electronics and uh, the gasoline engine. General Motors has just announced that they've, their, the volts that they've sold have done 100 million miles, right? And of that 100 million miles, about two-thirds or maybe 70% are electric miles. Wow. So, you know, that's a lot of gasoline that's been saved. Learn more about electric vehicles and Phil Dason's intriguing story as an EV pioneer at greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. I'm David Dodge.